The idea for our production came about through a lot of discussions about what the music and Rossini's sort of storytelling was to begin with. And so we wanted to really stay true to that, but we also wanted a fresh kind of new look at it. Not just to be different, but to create the experience for the audience that they must have had when they first saw this show in the first time, you know, it premiered. So we wanted to try to bring that back to it because it's been done so much. It's one of the most beloved pieces. The music is so beautiful and it's vibrant and fun and crazy. And it allows you just to sort of sit back and enter this world. And so we start talking about it, and I really wanted it to feel Spanish in some way. Even though I'm not Spanish, I wanted to try to embrace the culture a little bit more. The set designer, Shoko Kambara, spoke to me and she said, you know, have you ever seen the films of Pedro Almodovar? Look at Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, uh, Volver. These films, I think, match what you're looking for. And so I watched Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown and I said, oh my gosh, that's Barbara Seville. That walking the line between sort of melodrama and farce and the way that uh, Almodovar uh, allows for the absurdity, the random things that happen, sometimes very theatrical, sometimes just the randomness of life. It perfectly matched and suited Rossini's Barbara Seville because there's so much of that random that occurs throughout the opera. So it seemed like it was the right feeling for the show. And that's kind of where we, we went from there. And then we, we explored things like what other aspects of Seville can we bring out? And so in the research, we found this festival that occurs every April and has expanded into a very wild, crazy carnival atmosphere. They have food, there's dancing. The flamenco dance, the Sevillanas, is a really important dance for that festival, specifically in Seville. And we thought this is perfect because there's so much of the absurdity that happens in the show what if the, the fair was happening at the same time and these festival people ended up infiltrating the show in some way? And so that was the genesis of it. And then it became that Figaro was sort of the gang leader. The Barber Seville sort of has all of these people to help him do various things. And so, yeah, it's the community aspect and that's what we're doing in the theater. We're all coming together to have a collective experience in person rather than just online.